we made it to the casino we're gonna play some one three we're going for the uh douchebag look today hopefully everyone thinks i'm bluffing when we're really just a knit but let's get into that action Guys, we didn't get any filming. We sat down firsthand, we opened up a new table, get nine tennis spades in late position, few limps, we raised to $20, get two callers, flop comes down beautifully, 10 king, 10. They both check to us, we see bet 25. There's a fucking fly. Anyways, we see bet 25, they both call. Turn is a seven, they both check to us again. So now we are trying to get some value, so we up the bet to $100, and the first player folds, and the other player goes all in for 115. We snap call, he shows Jack tennis. We lose Jacks versus Queens to that same player for about $70. We also lose pocket Kings for some weird all in. I couldn't re-raise because some guy re-raised all in to 48 and I bet 30, I don't know, whatever. We lost about 50, $60 in that pot. And um, it was kind of just a down session. I didn't play for very long at all. And um, we lost $540 in that session. I think I was out of there in an hour and a half and since we're not really supposed to be filming anyways i just let that session go didn't risk it but we are back in action getting ready for the world series of poker stay tuned we are headed out the end of june gonna play every single thing i can play in a week and once we win then we'll play some more hopefully the main event whatever but tonight we're getting back in that action i'm getting you guys some footage headed out to play some one three let's get in this action i lied like a True degenerate. We go to a 2-5 game. We bump up the stakes. First hand we get dealt. Deuce three offsuit. Screw that hand and screw all of these hands that I had to sit here and fold until we get to something I can play, which is ace queen offsuit. We bump it up to 20. We get the big blind to call and the flop comes. Jack 10-7 rainbow. He checks, I go to reach for chips, and he just insta-mucks. We win our first hand, let's go. It's always a nice confidence boost to take the first hand down of your session. And we fold a few hands before we end up getting ace, jack, offsuit. There are three limps, and we raise to $30. The big blind, under the gun, and middle position all call the $30. Flop is ace, three, nine, with a pot of about $120. And now, everyone checks to me. This game is very liberal pre-flop, and I'm not about to give any free cards here with top pair. So I bet $75, about two-thirds pot, and they all fold to me, and we pick this pot up. There is a player here who is self-proclaimed the golden donkey. He's fanboying me hard, and the table starts razzing him. That's why I'm trying to get into his uh, YouTube stream. It's all love and joke. Shout out to the golden donkey. I look forward to playing with you again. Fold a bunch more hands before picking up a premium in the big blind. Side note, the jack of hearts was exposed and is the burn card. We have pocket kings in the big blind. There is one limpet and a short stacked older gentleman raises to $25. Everyone else folds, I'm in the big blind, and of course we're going to three bet. Here I make it $75 to go. There's one fold, and now the original razor goes all in for $140. I sigh as mostly older men who play this aggressive preflop are very strong, but I snap call for this amount and he rolls over pocket aces. We have a slight glimmer of hope when the turn is the ace of clubs and there are, brings three clubs on the board, but we brick a, the river and lose this one. The very next hand, we are in the small blind and there is a $10 button straddle. So we are first to act and we have a king queen offsuit. I like to just call here rather than raise. Not really sure why, I think it's just early on in the game. We get two other callers in the straddle checks. We are four ways to a flop of queen three seven with two spades. Now I go ahead and take the lead and bet $30. There's one fold, one caller, and the straddle folds on the button. The turn is the ten of spades, and now we slow down. We go ahead and check, and he bets $75. Post-flop, this player has been really tight. We played with him last vlog. Pre-flop, not so much, but we think for a while and end up folding, and he shows us jack five of spades. So it was a good fold. We fold a few hands before picking up ace-king offsuit. There is one limp and we raise to $45. We get one caller behind us and the original limper also calls. The flop is 458 rainbow. I decide once check two by the limper. 
to see bet this flop of $70 against these two specific players because they're on the tighter side and unless they flop the set or a major hand it's most likely that I can get them the fold. I also do this in the sense that I'll probably get checked to on most turns and can take a free river or continue with a double barrel bluff. The player behind does fold but the original nipper ends up calling and the turn is the jack of clubs. Now our plan goes to shit when the early position player leads into us for a very small donk bet of $60. The pot's 285 so this is just extremely confusing to me. I can only think that this is maybe, maybe a blocker bet and he has something like ace eight or king eight or he has ace jack and floated the flop or possibly flopped a set or two pair. I don't really see any merit in us getting it in here. We only have 195 in our stack and it's only 130 more. Once the pot's there, he's probably calling no matter what. So I think for a while, as I'm confused by this very small bet, it's almost like uh, he wants us to call and we end up just go ahead and laying it down and moving on to the next hand. We're getting frustrated. We're down 300 in this game so far. Next we limp fold pocket deuces and if you guys thought I was making any of this up, I am not. Here are the real golden donkeys themselves and if they fall into your direction, they will bring you insurmountable amount of luck. Hopefully they fall into me. I don't know. We'll see. The next hand we pick up is pocket fives. I limp, there are six other limpets, and we head to a flop of five, three, eight with two diamonds. Thankfully, we flop a set. Maybe our knight's gonna turn around. It all checks to me, and I bet $20. We get one caller, and the turn is the terrible seven of diamonds, and now our opponent leads for $30. I'm not ready to fold yet, as we have outs either way if he has the flush, so I go ahead and make the call. Now the river is the two of diamonds. This is just getting bad, folks. Now our opponent checks to us, and I see no merit in betting here, as I don't think anything worse is going to call us. So we check back, and somehow he had two pair, and we win a small pot here, thankfully. So the very next hand, we get dealt king nine of spades and i'm kind of steaming a little because i didn't get max value for my set versus the two pair because of the run out and i'm just not running well tonight but that's okay it is what it is there are two limps and then that player accidentally raises the ten dollars he thought that the two limps were one player bet together so with this i thought that weird that he was just limping so i go ahead and call now the player to my left who can be a tricky player decides to raise the $50 knowing all this information. The next player behind him calls. Due to my suspicions of this raise here and because I'm on a little bit of tilt and frustrated, I decide to make a very loose call out of position. We go three ways to a flop of 9-4 ace and I check. The original raiser checks and the other player now bets 125 who's a fairly tight player i definitely think he has an ace here so i go ahead and fold and the original razor end up showing pocket eights so our sufficients were half right we'll say but we lose this one and we're on to the next so we're still crying like a baby and we limp fold queen three of clubs and then we're like get your head out of your ass stop playing like a donkey we fold some let's get to this money who cares if you're not running well do not play on tilt you're better than this play like the poker god you are so in the big blind we pick up ace queen of spades there is a under the gun raise to twenty dollars two callers and it's on me I think about squeezing here and jamming because my stack's only $195 and in hindsight I definitely think that's what I should be doing here. But with the under the gun raise I kind of was a little nervous but either way it doesn't matter. I think it's the right squeeze play but we are thinking not so great right now so we just go ahead and flat and the flop comes ace king six with one spade. Now I decide to check in expectations that the under the gun range hit this flop and he will bet, but it checks around and the turn is the two of hearts. And now I'm going to go for some value and I bet $60 and the under the gun player decides to jam all in. The two other players fold, it's back on me with 135 behind. This kind of feels like a flop set of kings or aces or maybe ace king. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to do with this stack depth. I don't have much left behind. 
So I go ahead and call it off. Let me know in the comments what you would do here in this situation. Apparently that deuce of hearts changed a lot because he rolled over pocket deuces. We end up losing to the set and have to rebuy. Will we get our money back? Will we not? This is going to be a to be continued part two episode. So tune in, hit the like and subscribe, and I will see you guys soon.